Pomona Island was once a thriving part of the Manchester Docks. Named after the Roman goddess Pomona, the island formed part of the port of Manchester for 88 years until its closure in 1982. The docks served the Manchester Ship Canal, provi- providing vital transport links up and down the country. Since then, there has been little redevelopment. The area was forgotten, left to grow wild and desolate. Recent plans by property giants Peel and developers Rawlinson to build two huge apartment blocks were put to Manchester City Council. And despite strong opposition from protesters in the area, the plans were approved on the 13th of November 2015. Protesters wanted to see the area redeveloped in a way which would protect local wildlife and plant life. But their petitions and relentless campaigning were not enough to dissuade Manchester Council. But what did this mean for Pomona? I took a trip out there to see the area for myself. I was struck by the the amount of street art covering the flyover and the areas around it. It had become clear that despite the lack of redevelopment, this place had not been entirely forgotten. Pomona had become a place of expression, creativity and a haunting loneliness. The abundance of street art really reinforced this. It was mesmerising. Pomona had become a place of artistic expression, which created a sense of ownership in the forgotten wastelands. It provided a space for people to express themselves on the walls alongside nature taking hold of its land. The wilderness juxtaposed with the creative energy made me think, what will this be like when there are 160 apartments here? Will it still have the same devastating beauty? Will it, or will it be transformed into a residential oasis? Or maybe it will become just another nondescript apartment block. For developers, it will surely provide a lucrative investment and provide many more much needed homes across Manchester. But what about the wildlife, or the protesters who fought so hard to keep the space open for the public? Open spaces like this are few and far between in city centres. And the decision of Manchester Council to grant planning permission for 160 apartments in two blocks must make us think, what about the people who have already claimed this land? Where will they go? And what about the people who move into those apartments, what will their experience of Pomona be? And will they ever remember what the area used to be?